Okay, this is our last weekly lecture. Um, you will be working on your analytical paper this week. It will be due, of course, Sunday night by midnight. And Monday morning, I will open your final exam. Um, it will be due Wednesday by noon. So I have time to grade everything and get grades in on time. Um, I will send out uh, an email later this week uh, describing your final exam. It will not be too um, taxing. Um, I want you to focus first on doing well on your essay. Uh, just a few comments about Anthem. Um, again, regardless of um, whether you see yourself as an American romanticist or more of a um, postmodern collectivist, back to that first kind of uh, contrast, uh, I think is a very cleverly written story to argue her point. I think she did quite well. And in class, um, the first discussion we have about this story is always, when did you pick up on the fact that we, um, in the society of Anthem, um, is singular. Of course, they were not allowed uh, to say even the word I was taboo. Um, your last uh, question focuses on a quote from the story. Perhaps in those days there were a few among men, a few of clear sight and clear soul, who refused to, to, to surrender that word. What agony must have been theirs before that which they saw coming and could not stop. Um, I think the story is timely because so many today do see um, uh, concerns with the whole idea of individualism and, and certainly that topic is much under debate. Um, so the story is relevant and I think it helps you kind of um, see for yourself. Uh, where you stand on this issue um, and just maybe how um, fiercely aligned with Ayn Rand's individualism you are or are not. Um, a little bit about your essay assignment. Of course, it is posted. I'm not going to read every word of it to you. Um, but the idea is in a well-written analytical paper uh, to come up with something that your reader goes, huh, I'm, I never thought of it quite that way. This really added to my knowledge um, of the um, specific piece of literature under discussion. So as listed in your, um, on your paper, one of your main purposes is to enlighten readers on a specific work then in this case as to how it fits into uh, this broad category we've talked about this semester american romanticism certainly you are discerning and evaluating as you go along and you are breaking down the piece of literature in order to better understand um, the entirety of it um, that demands that as you are analyzing, you are taking your reader with you kind of from beginning to end uh, of the piece under discussion. And, and as noted on your assignment sheet, I, I hope you've read it over, um, you have lots of topics to choose from. Um, you certainly have to yet develop those topics into a thesis sentence. Um, I think the specifics are pretty clear. The one I want to focus on just for a moment, uh, you do have to include sufficient secondary research. And students always ask, well, how many sources does that mean? I don't know, because that depends on your individual thesis, how much you need to prove it. And, and that's basically what an analytical paper is. You are proving a, a particular point uh, of concern and, and discussion. Um, these sources, uh, however many you decide you need to quote from to pull in to back up your points, that, that's the point of research, um, must be found in Emerald College databases. These articles have been, so to speak, given the stamp of approval as scholarly research. You're on safe ground using them. Please note there is a page on, on database research uh, posted just under your assignment page. Um, if, if, if you 
hopefully you did this in comp two. If not, I think it's pretty clear, but if it gets stuck at any point, the librarians are basically, they're, they're waiting for students to work with right now. And you have my cell number. Don't hesitate to call or text. Um, do include, as noted, uh, as you're going through a literary analysis, it elevates your analysis if you kind of weave in at times some literary terms. And I did post those again on your content page. For example, you might want to talk a little bit, just weave the word in about this, the symbolism of the inn in Rip Van Winkle if you're working with that uh, particular story. Um, or the fantastic imagery in uh, To Build a Fire. Um, so look over those terms um, and I think they will um, help you uh, as you are analyzing, but also kind of um, give you that academic um, literary scholar voice uh, that, that you need for such a pursuit. Um, you are required to use Writer's Corner tutors, online tutoring. Um, again, you're paying for these tutors. It comes out of your tuition. We are encouraged to have students use them. And it never hurts to have a second pair of eyes. Look at your papers. Sometimes we're our own worst editors. Uh, we're up here and we're just not catching things that may be amiss. Um, I would suggest drafting uh, your paragraph, introductory paragraph, very quickly, like maybe today. Um, and sending to the tutors to see if you're starting off on the right foot. Um, just, just getting some feedback as often as possible will certainly be helpful. I will get a report from them um, as to um, how your session went, what they thought you needed to work on, etc. Let me know if you have any problems along the way. Um, your topics, I mentioned, are listed. However, these are topics. You still have to turn this topic into a thesis sentence paper. And I, I think the best word to keep in mind relative to thesis for a college paper is prove. You are proving something um, as you go through it. And it's kind of up to you how you want to narrow these topics, what you want to prove particularly. Um, how does anthem, huh? to me that's the most obvious one. I, I hope you all choose different ones. Uh, but anyhow, how does anthem reflect the uh, uh, concern of American romanticism and individualism? So to turn that into a thesis statement, um, third person, please, please, please note that MLA requires third person writing. Um, it, it, I may post that page in your content for you just as a little review. And not first person, I, me, my, and certainly not second person, you, yours. Mm. Um, you are writing a scholarly paper in third person. Uh, but a thesis sentence for Anthem, um, something like um, one of the key precepts of American Romanticism is that of individual freedom. And certainly Ayn Rand's short piece Anthem uh, drives home that point. So you just want to state it in a way that, hey, here's what I'm going to tell you about and here's what I'm going to prove to you. So keep that in mind as you're working on your um, topic conversion to thesis statement. I did attach a little sample paper, uh, sample intro for you. Um, and I think that kind of illustrates this idea of tying to American Romanticism. And please keep in mind, um, let's see, and this, I'm just going to read this paragraph to you for a moment and comment on it. Uh, this is a sample introductory paragraph. You did not this semester read the Battle Hymn of the Republic, which was first a poem converted into a song. Um, Try, try to plug in a minute. Julia Ward Howe's poem, The Battle Hymn of the Republic, 1861, was written with the tune of an old Methodist hymn in mind. Howe's lyrics quickly became the Civil War song. There may be no more idealistic, no more lofty expression in all of American literature, as the still popular today strain equates America's 
pursuit of freedom with holiness. He equates America's defeat of enemies with the defeat of Satan himself, and he equates America's victories with godly righteousness. It is, therefore, a most evident expression of American Romanticism. Some of those phrases um, wrapped into that paragraph are pulled directly from your page on American Romanticism. I would strongly suggest looking that page over again, seeing what it is that you specifically want to pull um, as an aspect of American Romanticism you want to really focus on in your paper. I think that would help it a lot. Okay, um, I will uh, talk to you um, in your individual conferences this week, but do not hesitate to text or call uh, as you work on this paper. Um, most of you are doing quite well in class, so, you know, I, I hmm, want this to be a, a, a strong end for you, and I certainly want to help you. Hope you're all doing well.